Hey, I'm back. Well, I thought today I would just do some, try and do maybe two, three little projects. So let's see how we get on. But I did say um, there was some news, so I shall tell you about that in a minute. Right, I'm thinking oil lamp. Jewellery finding, yeah, I think you're meant to put stuff into it and um, it has a little lid. Can't remember if I've used this before with you, but what I'm going to do is cut very carefully the bottom off there so it's open like a proper funnel and then it sits that way better. And I know we've done oil lamps before, but I have a lot of houses, as you know. <laughs> so the all need all lamps with a bit of, because it is metal, with a bit of black paint. They're going to go back to back like that with one of those in the middle. Get on with it, eh? All right, so I've cut that off. As you can see, it's a little more like a funnel shape now. There. But anyway, so that's it. Done, like I say. More funnel like. Right, okay, so what I've decided to do is I've got a bit of string which I've just separated up to look like the wick. And I'm going to push this cocktail stick in as well. Like that. Just happens to be, I mean, it's a nice big bead with a nice big hole. I'm lucky. And then I'm going to cut it off top and bottom. And that's just going to give me that little bit more to uh, stick it to. Because at the end of the day, you're holding it in place. It's those very tiny little bits. So if I've got a bit of wood there that that's going to stick to, that's going to help enormously. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll trim that off, I think. Put some glue, top and bottom, or oh, well, at the bottom, to hold that in, and uh, we'll crack on. Right, so that's glued on nice and tight now, that's not going anywhere. So next I think I'll glue that on, and then there's no... So yeah, we'll glue that one and that one together next, I think. See if I can get you in a bit more. There you go. And then you want to place that on top like that. Oh, see, now I didn't think about that. I put that in thinking that was going to go through there, but then I've got that between it, haven't I? <laughs> oh, plank. Uh, I could drill a little hole in there. Is it worth it? No, I don't think it is. There's still a way around it. Right, so I'm going to cut that off. Like that. Yeah. Put a tiny dab of glue on that. I'm just going with super glue today because it's nice and fast. Right, so there. That's my little component. I'm going to burn the end. Hopefully the, gl the glue won't ooh, go mad. <laughs> kind of did. Uh. Right, hopefully that's it. Um, there, if I can see from the bottom. That seems to be it. I'll give it a bit more of that to make sure. It doesn't matter which one it goes in, just so long as we've got it in one, like that. Straighten it up a bit. It's so important to do that, honestly, I can't tell you. Yep, that's on. I don't know if that goes wide enough. All right, we'll put a little bit on here too, because I'm not sure about that. All right, 
Okay, so I need to make sure that's straight, which it's not quite. Go over. And then you can either glue that on or not. I think I've got a bit of much stuff in there. All right, two minutes. Right, so there you have it. I glued it in place in the end. It didn't want to sit straight on there. I don't know whether what's not quite straight on it, but gluing it was the easiest way to make it straight. So there's one cute little lump. So I'll put it in place and we'll have a look. Right, so there it is. I've decided to put it in folly bag. It looks nice on that dresser. And there's a few bits on that dresser that uh, Christine got me for Christmas as well. I don't know if she's seen them in place, but there you go. Hello, Tobias. <laughs> right, what I'm trying to do very badly is make a <laughs> a little box. But while I've got you here, I will give you my bit of news, which some of you are probably not going to think is great. But I can't carry on my channel at the moment. I can put out the odd video for catch-ups and just like once every couple of months i just have not got the time to do that and not make all these little bits and pieces and i know that you find the house building from uh, from my statistics quite boring so that's one of the reasons i've also got my own house as in like the house we live in which is still undergoing re renovations and i have to do a lot of painting and sanding this year and get out and tidy the garden up so basically, it's just time. It's a time issue. It's not that I don't love doing it. And um, I shall miss you all very much. But I, sh I shall put out the odd video for catch-ups to let you know how things are going along and stuff. Um, so I haven't gone completely, but they're going to be few and far. But if you do decide to stay with me, then just click the notifications bell. And when I do put one out, it will come up. But I'm very sorry. And I really want to say a big thank you to so many of you who have day, well not day in, but every video have commented and liked and, you know, sent me things. Thank you so much. And just really, you know, I should really miss the community. That's been the hardest part about it. Oh, that's too short now, look. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll miss my mistakes. Ah, uh, just a little bit. I'll have to make that one of the sides. So anyway, this is just going to be just a little box with a lid. Just a lid that sits on top. Whoa, I've gone off, I've gone off there, I can see. Whoa, no, that's the veneer gone. Damn it. Ah, oh, I'm such a clumsy oaf. I should have cut it from the other way, I should have cut the Right, so I stuck the sides on first because I realised that if I was going to make this work, um, yeah, I need the measurement of that width of wood as well. All right, so I'll cut that a little bit. All right, I'll get that. All right, so we're gluing the last one on now. Oh, I know this piece is ever so slightly big for it. But woo. I'm actually gonna have to put a bit of that on, I think. So there you go, even like me, if you cut one key, it can be corrected. I mean I can't do anything about that, it's the depth of the wood that this has been sliced at, nothing to do with me. But it's not too bad. It, it's going to serve its purpose and that's all that matters. We've got one more little project after this. And then I'm off. <laughs> okay, so I've put a little blocks on. I've glued two pieces of that together. I've put some little blocks on. So that's going to go on there. These are the bees. I'm sure Pamela gave me these, so thanks Pamela. Um, I'm not gonna fill the holes in for now. I'm just going to leave them exactly as they are uh, and that's as many as I've got I'm sure but I'm just going to print off the top for this okay so this is the little image 
I don't know if you can see there. It, it does say building blocks. To be honest, I just went on eBay, look what was for sale, and took a screenshot. <laughs> I can't lie, but I think it's very appropriate. <laughs> it's going to look very good. So, I made it 11% uh, of my uh, original screenshot for that for this box. I could have gone 12, which would have filled every bit, but I think, no, I think I like that. Just a little bit of the box showing. I've been after some more toys for the nursery for Bucknell House. There isn't a lot of room on the floor, to be honest, but I do think it looks lovely when it's stashed full of stuff. Yeah. Just a very cute little wooden box. I'm not going to neaten any of these uh, edges that show off because it's very rustic and that's how I want it to look so that's good we'll just keep the uh, the open bits of the beads I mean from what I've seen of these uh, antique building block boxes with the, the blocks in the blocks actually aren't all square they're different shapes you actually get them with like turned bits to make balconies and stuff which I think is really cool I've actually got a little bit of turned bits I could put in there to simulate that sort of thing, maybe. They're a little bit big, but they kind of give the idea there. There we go. So, right, project number three. I've got these little corks, and I'm pretty sure these are the corks that came out of the little bottles that I made the funnel from. Uh, the, the, not funnel, the flu for the oil lamp. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting that down a bit, just covering it in a bit of fabric, maybe whatever I can find. Obviously take the colour of that down a bit and then it's going to be a hat pin, hat pin stand. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right, so I found this pink fabric. It's not old, but it is got a bit of stretch. I think it'll be perfect because of that. Sorry, I've got paint on my hands, haven't I? that's going to just help age the fabric anyway so that's perfect <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing that but you know if it works it works I'm just gonna have to hold it for a bit right so I've glued covered that the fabric glued that onto there and now I'm going to glue that onto there I think super glue there right. I should have to wash my hands I think <laughs> Right, so I've twisted two um, jewellery head pins together and then I'm using one of these again. There's some sort of rivet, I think. I'm not sure what they are. And I'm going to glue that in there and then that is going to give me enough. I'll have to maybe file that down a bit. I'll push it down. I don't know. I'll have to see. Yeah, that's going to give me then enough to be able to glue that onto there. I'll do that and get back to you. Right, so that's worked out okay, as you can see. I put plenty of glue on and then filed it. So that, that should be quite secure now. So I need to nip that off. So that's going to go onto that. I mean, obviously this would be better if it's round, but it's, it works just the same. So that's going to get glued onto there and then I'll decide on the size and that'll be poked into the cork. Right, so that's nicely on there now. Now what I've decided to do is just scratch these surfaces up a little bit just to give the glue a little something to bond to. Okie dokie. Right, so this is what we've got so far. So now, again, we're going to glue this onto there and hopefully that'll go like that. The hat pins will go through there at an angle. Oh, you can't see hat pins go through there at an angle and uh, it'll all work out so that's what we've got now right so i've cut that down really quite considerably you can't even see the twist anymore hardly that's i think that's a better size but yeah so i'll go on there oh that's nice 
Right, I'll have to go and find me, me proper clippers. Hang on. Right, so I clipped that one off and put it in just as a little pearl head um, hat pin. Lots of ladies would have that sort of thing. So, yeah. Right, I'll glue that on. That's going to be one. And then we're going to put the cat on one. Right, okay, so there it is. It's possibly a little bit big scale, but I quite like it. So we'll have to try it in place and see. And I see I managed to put that cut on. I just put it on a little bit of fabric. Um, and obviously, as I desire or as I want, I can add more pins. Make more hats, make more pins. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll show it you in place. Okay, so here's the hat pin stand in place. I think it looks all right, actually, doesn't it? It's not too big, not too small. As you can see, I did actually put Lady Bucknell's hat onto one of my dolls that's waiting for a body. I thought it looked rather nice like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's coming along now. Right, so there we go. We've got the building blocks. Like I say, I will have to fill in those holes to make them look more realistic. Ophelia and Juliet are playing there very nicely with their little building blocks. So that only leaves me to say, I shall see you again, hopefully, but I don't know when. And thank you all so much again for being supportive and watching my channel. And ta-ta for now.